All right, Thursday morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to House of Prep. My name is Jerry, and you know what to do. Jump in the comments. Uh, throw your updates of your area. Remember, we're boots on the ground. Uh, you want to talk about fuel, gas, if that's affecting your area, please do. Otherwise, let's talk about the stores. Uh, by store, I went, and it seemed like that most people were focusing on going out and getting gas. So my Walmart, my Kroger, everything seemed pretty well stocked up right here local where I live, just outside of Nashville here in Tennessee. So I didn't buy a whole lot of stuff because I feel like I have been pretty well prepped up um, these last weeks. And I'm gonna actually going to take you on a little field trip. We're going to go look at house of prep, uh, freezer, and a quick look at the pantry. Now, I thought about, you know, staging stuff and getting it all doctored up and fronted, making it look nice and pretty for a photo. I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. It's, it's usable. It's the family that's in and out of it. And yes, it sometimes gets unorganized, but I wanted to show you the workable pantry and the workable freezer that we're dealing with. So it's not like you won't find any of these in there. These I pick these up and I store these separate. Because so again, it's all about space and you know the ground rules of the household. It's okay if I'm a prepper and I like to prep things, but people just don't want to see it, right? <laughs> they don't want the jammed up, you know, craziness of stuff just packed into a pantry where you can't find anything, you can't reach anything, you can't do anything. So, so some of this stuff, the extra bags of rice and beans and things and uh, things like, you know, extra bags of trail mix or beef jerkies and things, you won't see that in the workable pantry. You won't see any of my... Uh, freeze-dried mountain house you won't find those you won't see the MREs that I have stashed so those are all stashed away nice and safe and quiet so I'm going to take you on that field trip in here in just a minute uh, but before I do I've got my sweet fix for the week and you won't find this in the pantry because I'm probably going to eat this a lot of this this morning I'm I've, I've got a craving for some carbs okay <laughs> so I got some sweet rolls so a little something different uh, as you saw I still had my diet Pepsi's I did not buy another bag of Oreos because sometimes during the week, I can't even tell you what day it was. I bought a big bag of some double stuffed Oreos, so I've got those scrolled away. So let's talk for a minute about your stuff. How, how are you seeing things? I know there's a lot going on in the world. Uh, I hope that you're keeping your head up. I hope that you're not afraid. I hope that you're still living your life. Yeah, you're prepping and you're preparing and you're, you're keeping an eye on things, but I hope you're you're still plugging along. I hope that you're able to turn the news off for a little bit and enjoy your family and enjoy doing what it is, your hobbies. And so please do that. And let's go ahead and go on this little walk though that I had prepared. Actually, just kind of throwing this together last second. So I just, you know, I was like, you know what? We need to do this. I don't, I've had people ask me before um, about my freezer and stuff. So this, this is live. This is me waking up. Coming in here after groceries and things. And like you can see, I keep my throwawayables uh, handy. I've talked about this in older videos. Uh, it's always nice to have throwawayables, things that you don't have to worry about doing the dishes. Oh, there's some dishes. Let's keep moving. I don't, and that if you see it, you got to do it, right? All right, so the pantry's over there, but let's stop over here at the freezer. Now, I'd picked this up. We moved into this house this past year, and I picked up this really nice really large uh, Samsung. It was a markdown. Uh, it was at a Lowe's. They had put it out for a scratch and dent. And um, you can't even hardly see places that had the scratch or the dent. So I got it for like 700 bucks uh, right around there. This really nice brand spanking. It was a floor model. And so they had to mark it down. And there's nothing else wrong with it. I mean, it's an, for amazing price. Uh, so it had the rollout double stack freezer. So let's see, and again, I, I didn't have any of the stage, so just bear with me a second. Uh, we do keep some ice cream on hand. Uh, my wife would always used to eat this, the Halo Top, and I don't know if some of you are fans of the Halo Top, uh, but she's been a fan. Um, my, both my wife, my daughter, they like to make those smoothies and things, so they keep the extra uh, frozen fruits and things in there. You, know, you always got to have big bags of meatballs on hand. Let's get some extra stuff for your spaghetti. See, there's mango stuff and uh, different pastas and things. So things that are frozen. You know, I see a couple of popsicles snuck down there. We keep freezer packs because we use them throughout the week at work and things. So, you know, my wife, this is funny. One night we were like, what are we going to have for dinner? And my wife's like, you know, I have a craving for some Eggos. Have you, 
have you ever had just a craving? And at first I was like, oh, you're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> so she, obviously, no, we're not going to have any baby house of preppers running around. But but no, she, she said, no, I just really want some egos. So she's like, all right. So she stopped by the store, got a big old giant box of blueberry egos, got some maple syrup. And we had a just a fun little night of just, just eating some egos, right? You can't go wrong with that. Uh, keep these on hand because when the kids come around, um, sometimes at lunchtime or something, they want something different. And that's one of the, their faves. They like grabbing some Hot Pockets for lunch. And so I try to keep a, a case on those on hand. Uh, they keep a long time, and they're just good for emergencies, too. Easy, quick, throw them in the microwave, boom, you're done. I keep always keep an extra loaf of bread. Remember, it's about rotation. So you get a new one, put it in here. This one goes in the pantry, and so it goes. All right, so this is the bottom one down here. So let's start on the right side. So you can see I got the big butterball turkey down there. And let's see what this is. I want to find some hidden gems down here. Some fresh ground turkey. There's different, we have different like uh, tilapia and cod. Uh, we get salmon. So sometimes those are nice. Uh, my wife pulls out the air fryer and she puts it, man, a fish, it turns out so good in the air fryer. So we do some of that. Sometimes we get the fresh, uh, you know, we go into Publix or Kroger, you go to the the meats and you get the fresh uh, fish filleted right there. Uh, I'd love to catch my own, that'd be great. Don't have a pond or a lake nearby that has fish, so. <coughs> Excuse me. That's that big hunk of pork, right? That, uh, the butt roast. If you remember that from a couple weeks ago, that went into the freezer. Uh, so I think we got some hash browns and things that I've been cooking. So this, this, this uh, freezer gets heavily used. Constantly pulling stuff. Ah, yeah, it's beeping at me. I know, I'm gonna thaw everything out. So, that's the frozen uh, wings. If you remember, I had found those. I were going right to the freezer. So down here, you can see there's some uh, bags of jumbo shrimp. Um, got several packs. I've individually wrapped and then put them inside bags just to seal them really good, keep them from freezer burn. Uh, so those will keep quite a while in here. Stacks of chicken, chicken breast. Just a couple stacks, some extras laying here. Make sure to see what else is squirreled away down here at the bottom. A ham hock, because we use that for green beans. You all use ham hocks? I like doing that, ham hocks. Uh, pork chops, we've already been, you can see the stack used to go up higher. So it's time for me to find some more pork chops. Uh, some steaks down at the bottom. And I've been wanting to add to that. Uh, just not willing to pay the price. So prices, we talk about prices at stores. Uh, steak prices and things, they're still just going up. I know, I'm closing you. All right, let's move along. The pantry. Now, as we approach the pantry, I always, it never fails. Anytime I do a pantry video or something, uh, someone, which is sure, I mean, it's, it's awesome. They always ask, hey, where did you get your spice racks? So if I remember, which I'm going to try to remember, I want to go ahead and put a link um, in the description of this video, for a link to Amazon of where I got these and you know that way you can see it you can look at them um, if you're interested I love them that's great way good way to organize uh, so this is how we keep the pantry it does get shifted around as people are in you can see things get shifted and moved and I, I try to bring things forward and then as things start slimming down or I start seeing some holes I say all right let's, we got it on the list let's go ahead and stock some of that back up um, so, you know, there's some chicken, canned chicken in the back. There's you know, the tuna soups, chilies, uh, gravies, um, chef boy already, quick grabs, beans, you know, corn. There's, there's also spinach and asparagus and other stuff that's all hidden back there. They're not as popular to everybody. I like that stuff. I like asparagus and spinach and things. So I keep some on hand. You got corns. There's the, uh, the glory uh, season. We got the carrots. The apples, the pinto beans, those are, tend to be the favorites around here. Um, you know, extra packs of tuna. There's some sugar and flour in the back corner. Uh, we keep the peanuts. The boiled peanuts are back up there somewhere. So there's other little little gold nuggets hiding up there. Um, pastas and things. And that's not all the pastas. and Oh, there's pasta sauce back there somewhere too. But I have other places um, squirreled away. Some backup pastas and stuff like that. And... You know, some breakfast quick grabs, you know, just people quick grabbing 
uh, for in the mornings out the door. Um, that's your quick salads and behind that I keep extra like the quick sides and the instant mashed potato packs and things like that. Blueberry things and I have a whole couple cases of these squirreled away just for backup for the ramen noodles. Uh, these are the workable rice and beans and things that we get into. Uh, but as you can see, I keep uh, other big, larger bags just put up for now and uh, try to keep this. So it's, you know, you can see it's it's usable. It's it's organized to a certain degree. Uh, different bakings stuff that goes just kind of keeping in the basket there. Um, maybe some brown sugars and uh, white powdered sugar and just all kinds of little things my wife will keep in there. Uh, these are those extra little packets of things that, you know, you get these and you're always just trying to find something to put them in. So we just keep them in a little basket. Um, oh, there's more packs of tuna. We got tuna everywhere. So um, Alfredo mix, um, some more gravy mixes and things. Looking in the back, um, this because you know, if you see my past videos, oh, that's another marinade. Yeah, this was organized, and now I've got my hands all over it. So back, I keep my extra packs of Cincinnati chili. Remember, if you've seen my videos in the past, I've, I've talked about those before. I love the Cincinnati chili. I'll go back to that later. So that's the usable bread, uh, some chips and things, uh, just for, like I said, lunches and quick grabs. Again, I always keep backups to all the condiments. So whatever's in the fridge, and then you see one or two backups to just about everything, um, from mayonnaise to mustard. Um, you know, there's just all the, all your different barbecue sauces and whoa, 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 whoa avalanche. So we, we got the dressings and vinegars and obviously there's more peanut butter back there and I have some more put up. So different things my wife likes for quick grabs. I put them down here because, uh, she, she is, uh, vertically challenged. So she make it on the lower shelves, the things that she likes to quick grab. <laughs> Uh, down here is just your hodgepodge of different things, your oils and, uh, you know, Pam sprays and quick grab sugars and little things that you just kind of like to grab throughout the day and just try to keep stuff. And then a lot of your uh, freezer bags, sandwich bags and all your other, look, you got to make sure you, you stock that stuff, guys. You can't just one box and then, okay, and then now all of a sudden you can't go buy more and now you're out of that stuff. It's convenient. It's nice to have aluminum foil and saran wrap and um, keep that stuff on hand. Uh, down here, I always keep some Diet Pepsi squirreled away in the back. Uh, some extra juice. Um, then there's the normal stuff, you know, keep a fire extinguisher in the corner and in there if you can see it. That's nice to keep on hand for safety. Uh, potatoes, extra things of water. And then obviously I keep some out in the garage as well. So that's it. That's That was your little sneak peek. I've never done in one... To like this before to this extent so I just figured I'd hey you know there might be some people just kind of curious you know how do I store the stuff that I have uh, my wife came across a deep freezer online the other day and you know, something we might put in the garage so she was like well, what do you think about that and I'm like yeah I said I think we need to get a generator first well, a generator that could power uh, for a week or two if we had power out and we, we didn't I didn't want to invest in more food for the freezer uh, with the fear that if ever a power outage went out, we would lose a lot of it. We wouldn't be able to eat it fast enough. So that and then as you know that or later in this year, I am planning to get into canning. So that would be kind of cool. Uh, one day I'll be doing a video of this and you'll see some of my canned stuff maybe squirreled away on this corner back here somewhere. So that's some some things that we're hitting. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope you're having a great Thursday. I hope you're having a good week despite what... The world might say or tell you um, brush off the dust keep moving forward you know it's all going to be good rely on what you have done and if you are just kind of getting started and you're looking for ideas hey go back to some of my older videos don't forget to check out the comments come back later if you've already been here come back later check the comments always lots of good information lots of good uh, tips and people answering questions, asking questions. So you guys have a great rest of the day. We're approaching the weekend and I will talk to you guys later.